y'all, it's Monarch Mama, and today I have a video for you about the Virtual Homeschool Co-op. Um, this was something that I participated in last year, and it's put on by Just So Trish, and the idea is to get a collaboration of a lot of different homeschoolers so that we can um, kind of help each other along and share ideas that we are using in our homeschool so that other people can um, glean from others experience and to learn new things from other people. It also could be a help to those who are thinking about homeschooling but they haven't started yet and they're kind of on the fence and maybe are trying to figure out how it's done and uh, how they want to how they want to put it through in their lives. So anyway this is our assignment number one for the virtual homeschool co-op and the assignment is to make a video about whether your homeschool is structured or relaxed in three different areas. Are you structured in your curriculum? And are you structured in your day? And are you structured in your space, in your home? So, um, I would have to say that our curriculum, uh, well, first of all, I have four children and my two oldest are 15 and 17, it's a boy and a girl, and they, no, 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 that's not right. I have, my two oldest are 17 and 19. My 19 year old is a girl and my 17 year old is a boy and they are going to the community college here in town. So they are not at home during the day. <clears throat> so I just have two students left at home that I am schooling. So, um, the curriculum for my two students that are at home, they are 13 and 15, 13 year old girl and a 15 year old boy. And we are using uh, a structured, somewhat structured homeschool curriculum. We are using Rod and Staff for language and we are using Easy Grammar for my uh, 10th grader. And then we are using um, Matthew C for my 13-year-old, uh, and we are using, uh, well, math, you see also geometry right now is what we're doing for my 10th grader. So those are pretty structured, but we kind of go about it in a relaxed way. So like I don't have a homeschool planner. I see a lot of moms that have homeschool planners and they plan out every day or they plan out a week at a time, but I've kind of trained my students to be self self-motivators or self, uh, self-guided. So when I give my curriculum to my <coughs> youngest daughter, my 13 year old, she told me today, she's already got it figured out that if she does two lessons a day, then she could be over halfway finished by, um, by the time we stop for Christmas break. So she's kind of, um, she's anxious to get going and get finished. And then where my 15 year old son, I give him the curriculum and he's happy just doing one lesson a day. So I kind of have to push him along a little bit, but I don't write it down as to what I want them to complete by the week. Cause my goal is to get them to where they are monitoring themselves and they are planning out how quickly they want to get finished and um, set goals for themselves. So by the time they make it to where they're gonna go, which ultimately is the college classroom, they're going to need to be uh, self-starters and they're going to need to be motivated by deadlines. So um, we do have some deadlines, but I've kind of tried to put it on them as to uh, how quickly they wanna move and move at their own pace. And if I see that that pace is too slow then I step in and I say no 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 we need to get this done and it needs to be uh, on a timely manner so um, so in that way it's structured but it's also kind of relaxed too <coughs> uh, now our science curriculum we are going off of a um, we're going doing the apologia anatomy and we're doing it with a group so that's more structured we've got to keep up with it and keep pace with everybody else and we're doing labs once a week so that is something that's very structured that we're keeping um, keeping pretty regular 
And then also we do another co-op on Fridays that's a music and drama co-op. So again, they've got to practice every day. They have to keep a log of how often that they pra they're practicing their instruments and they're practicing their choir music and they're reading through their lines and doing their drama because they have signed a statement that says, I promise I'm going to practice four times a week for X many minutes. <clears throat> so they have to sign that every week and we take it to co-op on Fridays and they have to show their teachers that they have completed what it is that they have set out that they're going to do. So in that way it's structured, but it's relaxed in that um, I'm not right on top of them telling them you need to do this right now and keeping a really strict, strict schedule. Um, I will tell you though that we um, we don't have time necessarily times that we do certain subjects, but I do keep a list that I want them to have completed, like all of the subjects that they need to do during the day, and I'll show you. This is my son, Max's. So I have a list of all of the subjects that I want him to be doing every day, and so every day he's gonna go through this list and check off the things that he has completed for that day. Um, and they kind of get in a routine um, where they always do you know, one particular subject first, or they do, you know, one particular subject follows another, so they're kind of getting a rhythm going where they like to do certain things in a certain order. And that's fine with me because then they're self-motivated and, and they're doing their own, <clears throat> they're doing their own thing, but they're learning how to get things done. So, uh, the other obstacle that we have is, I have one that plays the drums, one that plays the flute, one, and she also plays the piano, and then we have the two college students that are sometimes in the house. My my older son, he will some he'll be here on he's on Tuesdays and Thursdays here during the daytime, and he plays the trumpet. So they don't feel like they can all practice at the same time because we've got noise going all the time. <laughs> so that's something that they've got to alternate and say, okay, I'm going to practice this right now and I'll wait until you're finished to start my practice so that we don't overlap each other and mess each other up. So that's a little bit more structure. Um, so that's kind of like associated with how is your day structured? Well, yes, our day is sort of structured. Um, my youngest son, Max, he is 15 and he has a job and so he works on Mondays and Wednesdays at 7.30 in the morning till about 11 o'clock. So his school day doesn't start until right at about 11. But my younger daughter, Nellie, she and I go up to the community college and we walk as part of her physical education. So we are doing our exercise while he is at work. And so we start on her schoolwork when we get back from our walk. We come home and we cool off and we get breakfast and then we start on her schoolwork. And she'll do everything that she can that she doesn't need him to do or want to do with him together. Like they're going through the anatomy book together and they're going through um, spelling and some of the things they like to just kind of group and do together. Uh, and sit, they like to sit side by side and do their schoolwork at the same time, kind of helps motivate each other. So, um, so on those days, it's kind of structured because he's doing one thing and we're doing another and we plan to do those things together. And then on Mondays, we have structure because we are doing our co-op on Monday and then she has piano on Tuesdays and gets together with um, another friend on Tuesdays every week. And then Wednesdays is kind of free form. Once he gets back from work, Max will um, do his schoolwork and then he has the rest of the day to kind of relax. And then Thursday we have a very quiet day where we can catch up with anything that we may not have gotten done during the week. And then Friday, of course, is our co-op day for music and we travel about 45 minutes to go to this music co-op and we're there all day long. We do choir and we do band and also drama. So we're there from 8.30 in the morning to 3 in the afternoon. So it's a very full day. So we're really kind of working on a four-day school week plus an, a day out, which is what a lot of um, uh, a lot of curriculums will plan that for you.
So, And then the last thing is, are you structured or are you relaxed in your space? So we are, as you can see, I'm in my school room right now. I've got desks behind me and I'm sitting at my desk right here. And we have, um, we have the school room that we work out of and the kids like to, the two kids that I have like to sit here at the desk and do some of their work together. But um, when they practice music, they go to their room. Uh, Max goes to his room and he closes the door and puts earphones on because he plays the drums in his room. <laughs> so that's quite loud. I was planning on doing this video earlier in the day today, but I couldn't do that because Max was playing the drums. <laughs> and then, um, of course, the piano is in our great room, so she practices her piano in there. And then when my oldest son um, is home for on, on the days that he's not in school during the day, he likes to uh, do his schoolwork in the in the great room. So. And he just sits on the floor and he does it there or in the easy chair that's right there next to uh, in, our, in our great room. So that part is kind of relaxed, but they usually end up coming back here to the desk. And they'll sit here at the desk and do most of their schoolwork and then all of the music stuff they do in other rooms. And they practice their drama lines in another room. And if they've gotten to their extracurricular reading, then they like to do that somewhere else. They like to cozy up on the couch and do their reading in another place. So, you know, we're kind of structured. We're, we're more relaxed in this space, I would say. But, um, but then they end up coming back to the structure uh, to sit at their desks and get their work done there. So, I... I I, I guess we're kind of, overall, I'd say we're a little more structured than um, than we are relaxed, but we kind of have a relaxed attitude about it. So um, it's kind of a hard question to answer. <laughs> anyway, overall, I would say that we we're we're structured in our schedule, but we're relaxed in our practice. Um, that's, that's, that's probably where I would, I would leave it, but anyway, I hope that, um, this video has helped you in some way. I know that the virtual homeschool co-op, I've learned a lot about, about what other people do to see what they do, and, and a lot of the moms that I know around here, I've learned a lot from them too, and it's good for us to share and to learn from each other, so I, I really appreciate just so Trish put in this together and um, helping us all to help each other out. I think that's a great thing. Anyway, I hope that it was a helpful video to you and I hope you all have a great day.